how OnlyFans ruined an entire generation. Um, based off of the title alone, do I agree to that? A little, I'm kind of like, I'm kind of like, what's the percentage? I'm kind of like 70, 30 on it. You know what I'm saying? Like 70 apart, 70% 70 of me agrees, but there's like some of the oddball women, you know, not, not, not really oddball. I'm not saying like that, but like normal people, you know, normal people know, like they get it, the, they get it the right way. You know what I'm saying? You get those. I see, I see lesser, lesser of those nowadays in my, in my opinion. OnlyFans has completely ruined an entire generation. Dog, when I tell you, nuclear bombs couldn't even do nearly as much damage as what OnlyFans did to our society. Bro, I knew OnlyFans was getting bad when I seen people not even giving life a shot at the age of 18 and going straight to OnlyFans once the clock hit 12. If you thought that- You already know what it is, bro. You already know why. It's the bag. The quick bag with OnlyFans, bro. Remember when bad body- Bad body. Hmm, no. When Bad Baby, the uh, Catch Me Outside girl, she popped out with her OnlyFans. How much she made, y'all? You don't know how much she made? Twin. She made easily, I think either a mil or two mil. She opened the floodgates and people was copying. It was a disappointment. I seen the Reddit. Don't I, I was younger back then. I'm mature now. But it was, it was disappointing. TikTok, 4chan, and Twitter did damage? Just wait till you hear all the damage that OnlyFans has done in this video. Now, for the first damage that I think OnlyFans has done to society is that it's normalized a lot of weird behavior. We live in a time where people get their back blown out in front of a camera for thousands of people to see, but it's somehow okay because they make a lot of money. That is not normal, and that is not something that we should normalize yeah, it's slash kinda, celebrate. It's weird. Look, I understand that these OnlyFans girls be having Lambos, numerous penthouses, a few rolls, but it's like more money than it be the it be the it be the the folks that rhyme with limp you know what i'm saying it's, it's such a saturation of them to where they'll do anything just to see like some type of pleasure for themselves like it's just i don't know it's a wicked business bro it's very wicked bro like you're literally funding let me not say that let me not say it like that you're literally promoting an addiction we all know as men we all know like corn addiction is probably like the worst addiction to have not even alcohol not weed maybe pills but corn addiction is by far the worst addiction to have as a male because it messes you up mentally like if you go do the research it messes up your whole your whole you know what i mean your active life you know what i'm talking about it messes it up you know what i'm saying so you don't want that you don't want that especially early on bro like you don't want that bro i could ever imagine but at the same time they also have zero dignity if they can proudly brag about how their cheeks are getting clapped online for 4.99 a month why are we flexing our cheeks getting obliterated online i just don't think that's that, that is just weird to me uh, thing about only fans is that it completely normalized adult films AKA porn. Like I swear back then, being an adult chill, bro, don't get me used to be chill, one chill, of the chill. most frowned upon jobs ever. But OnlyFans has made it completely acceptable. Like if somebody told you that they did OnlyFans, you genuinely wouldn't be surprised nowadays. But back then, that would have been one of the most shocking things to ever hear. Not, I mean, you know, a, a friend of mine popped out with the OnlyFans one time, but it was early on though. I see what you're saying though. When she popped out with the OnlyFans, I was kind of like, what the f why do you have one? You know what I'm saying? Like, why do you have one? You don't even need that. You feel me? Like, I feel like, oh man, I don't know, bro. Cam, why are you staring at me like this, bro? This is actually kind of, I'm too fried right now. Bro. Another oh, weird bro. behavior that OnlyFans has kind of normalized is spawn camping young Cam, your forehead is very big, bro. Like, I don't know. Like, you might, I want to just headbutt you right now, bro. Like, <clears throat> women until they turn 18 for example y'all remember when danielle bergoli i just said this one week after she turned 18 and she made a million dollars okay so she made an m hours she made an m that six hours that adults out there that found danielle bergoli attractive as a young girl but they wouldn't necessarily say that so they chose their hold up wait, wait wait let me do the math let me do the math oh no the math is easy so she did make two m's in a day she made two m's in a day wait no she didn't hold on she made four m's in a day is my math right? Fuck, man. I don't know. Which was to wait for this young girl to turn eight. I think it's six, now right? You can see her naked legally. Like the concept of that being legal is it's just six, absolutely six, strange to me. And whoever it's bought six. that OnlyFans once she turned eighteen needs to be locked up ASAP. No Rocky. Like I just find that insane because there's no way that the demographic of these people buying Danielle Bergoli's OnlyFans were like maybe 18, 19, 20, 21. They had to be like forty year olds, fifty year olds, maybe even some thirty year olds in there. And we know damn well yeah. that 
like a lot of these dudes that bought yeah. this OnlyFans didn't just randomly it be those, it be those, it be those young girl creeps, you know what I mean? These dudes it be those weirdos, bro. Them, them fedora wearing, double chin, hair only on the, on the, on the double chin. And it just goes up to the actual chin. It's weird, bro. It's one of it's those weirdos, bro. They most definitely found her attractive as a young girl. And they just spawn camped their way until she made this OnlyFans. Now they can see her naked legally and go ham on the meat. Like, that's crazy. That's wild, That is bro. absolutely insane. There's also numerous TikTok girls out there who have also made OnlyFans once they turn. Oh, my God, bro. I'm going to keep it 100, bro. Like, she is a... She burnt bro like 18 and they made bands tired of seeing her bro also like it's one of the what turned 18 and they made band 500k damn bro damn bro that's another thing with only fans women bro they're all hollywood bro they're never they're never honest bro they're just there for the bread bro that's the only reason that they keep funding this shit bro if they're only there for the money bro the money is absurd the money is so insane in that industry bro you know? And as I speak, there's probably some 16 year old TikTok girl out there that plans to make an OnlyFans once she turns 18. And there's probably tons of creepy old men waiting for that day to happen, which it's disgusting to even think about if I'm being real. I think the age of OnlyFans should be at least 21, but obviously that never changed because right now the age to sell adult content is 18, 18 years old. And for OnlyFans to change their age, the whole law would have to change as a whole. And that's never going to change. And since we're talking about weird behavior from OnlyFans, there's a lot of lies that go on with just the business itself like there's a lot of grown women on there lying about nah. 18 and 19 years old facts facts he's spitting facts here i remember on the Lil yachty podcast bro them niggas had ben the don bro and ben the don explicitly explained it because he said he was a manager for some of the only fans girls bro he explained it bro he just kept repeating the same uh the same uh, uh, uh title of them being like a college girl or them being freshly 18 or you know what i'm saying like just very i don't know bro like it's kind of it's slick it's slick you know what i'm saying the feel you you know what i'm saying it's, it's slick one of them but you know it's on the fine line of it bro like yeah it's legal but then again it is weird you know sell more subscriptions which is just absolutely insane even though those are legal ages i still think it's weird to lie about your age to sell more subs for example do y'all remember that one npc tiktok girl pinky doll mm, ice cream so good mm, ice cream so good i'll smash i ain't gonna lie gang gang so she actually used to lie and say that she was 19 years old to sell more subs when in reality she was 27. And this actually happens a ton on Twitter. You'll see mad girls talking about they're the hottest 18 year old on all Exactly, bro. Time. Just to sell. With six kids. Like, Just to sell, bro. Six seven years old with the saggiest giddies of all time. But for some reason, she's in every Twitter comment section talking about I'm the hottest 18 year old on OnlyFans. Yeah, you were the hottest girl 51 years ago, Sharon. Hang it up. Like I said, I think it's weird to just straight up lie about your age to sell more subs like that bro just... cam cam your forehead is so swollen bro oh my god this shit looks edited bro holy shit man disgusting and even the old ass men out there that are buying I'll these girls only fans they're also just as disgusting if not even more disgusting now another reason why i think that only fans completely ruined society <laughs> is because it made the internet even worse for women now y'all are gonna call me a simp and white knight for this but just hear me out before you run to the comment section talking about my forehead is big just just wait one i've been second. saying this whole video bro why i say that only fans made the internet even worse for women is because it made dudes comfortable with telling random girls online that they don't even know to make only fans accounts if they find them attractive it's the weirdest thing ever like if a girl goes viral and she just happens to be attractive the first thing that dudes are gonna say is to make an only fans it's the weirdest thing ever it's example, either it's either make the only fans or i seen your twitter or the quote unquote i seen your twitter you know what i'm saying like we all know what goes down on twitter bro we all know the twitter is a promo for the of we all know that if you don't know that, now you know that. You know what I'm saying? If you don't know, now you know. 
Do y'all remember the Home Depot girl? For y'all that don't know, there's basically this girl who went viral on Twitter because she was attractive and she worked at Home Depot. And the first thing that dudes were telling her to do once they saw her was to make an OnlyFans. Like, peep some of these comments. Hear me out. OnlyFans and you equals rich. What? If you want to make an OnlyFans, real niggas wouldn't judge you. When OF. You're telling me that you see an attractive woman on see, the and your first thought is she should make an OnlyFans? Like, I just find that insane. And honestly, I, I feel like, I feel like, honestly, I know I said it earlier in the video. I know I'm, 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 in, I'm in unk mode right now. I'm yapping. When the, when OF dropped, bro, I feel like the corn addiction rate just went up through the roof, bro. Because it's just so easily accessible now. Because like I said, when they have when they got when they got the OF, they use the Twitter to promote the OF. You know what I'm saying? And you can just I don't like all you gotta do really on Twitter is just like turn off one setting and you can see everything, bro. It's like it's like you just took shrooms for the first time, bro. Like you just start seeing hella colors, the the the, the sky just start expanding it. Like you just it's just it's just crazy, bro. It's crazy. So this woman to the fullest because at the end of the day, she chose her morals over money. She could have made life changing bands off of OnlyFans, but she just chose to stick with her normal job and just create IG reels and make YouTube videos. When the whole world was telling her to create an OnlyFans, like that is that's real, bro. In a world where only fans girls be having Lambos uh, and just regular working women have bro. Toyota Prius. I mean, if you want to keep it David Goggins in this bitch, just turn that sh just don't look at that shit. Look away. You know what I'm saying? I turn off my notifications, no cap, bro. Like, when niggas start getting too much motion, what the fuck am I talking about too much motion? Shut the fuck like, up, Justin. That's a hard task. And this actually happens to a lot of women that create content. Because if you look at their comment section on like IG Reels or maybe TikTok or maybe even like if a girl is doing a YouTube Q&A, the first question that a lot of dudes are going to ask is if that girl is going to make it OnlyFans. Like, bro, it's crazy because if you do have an OnlyFans nowadays, people are going to tell you to find God. But if you don't have one, people are going to beg you to make one. Like, it's a lose-lose situation. Another reason why I think OnlyFans made the internet easier even worse for nigga didn't you just text me that bro i already seen it i already seen it bro i'm just chilling bro i got you bro i got you women is because it also completely ruined link tree slash just women having links in their bio like y'all know how on instagram people usually will have like a link in their bio and that link will take you to maybe like a youtube twitch or maybe in like a clothing brand well, it's gotten to the point where if a woman has a link tree in her bio the first assumption that a lot of dudes are gonna make even myself is that that girl probably has an only fan 100 percent 100 percent bro no nah, you're good Lonzo. you're good bro 100 percent bro i'm not gonna lie bro like once i see once i if i see a girl with like okay if i'm scrolling through ig right ig explore right i just happen to see like some ig model shit right let's say she got like 60 70k maybe 80k right you know what i'm saying i see that link tree dot i don't know milky goodness or some shit right i already know bro I already know, bro. I hit that shit one time. I see the spice, the spice, the little spicy peppers. You know what I'm saying? A little spice content. Yeah, I already know. I already know, bro. I already know. I was so blown away when I found out Jordan from Vegas did, did corn, bro. I was so blown away, bro. Like, I literally only seen her TikTok videos, bro. No bullshit. And then niggas were like, oh, yeah, I just seen your recent Twitter video. I was like, what she got going on on Twitter? And she was going crazy, son. I ain't gonna lie. When in reality, but I was just looking though. I was I was just from observing. You know what I'm saying? Curious George. That girl could just have like a Twitch link in that link tree, right? But since these OF girls are running so rampant nowadays, and you can see them everywhere, every dude is gonna automatically assume that any girl with a link in her bio has an OnlyFans. Like it's sad to say, but it's true. But it's not that crazy now. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of normal, which is bad. It gave people this money over morals mindset. If there's one thing that OnlyFans has taught me, it's that people are almost always gonna pick that dollar over their morals on any given day. The other day, I seen this post by Ruby rose that said yo bitch got morals i got millions well excuse me miss ruby i never knew that having no morals was a flex but at the same time i don't know what i was supposed to expect from somebody that said yo, sometimes you have to lie bruh, to bruh, 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 bruh. you see even she the post was delete the post has been deleted bro she even she knows she fucked up bro ruby rose is like is like the branding of like a standard OF girl, bro, which is kind of tough, which is kind of bad now, bro, because Ruby Rose was really like that, bro. Like, if you from the Atlanta, bro, you really know, bro. Like, 
Georgia State, Ruby Rose, nigga. Oh my god, bro. Let me not, let me not do too much, bro. Let me not sexualize women too much, bro. But yo, just know, bro. Georgia State, Ruby Rose, bro. You know. when it hey. comes to NFL players. At 16 years old, she had no morals 10 years ago and she still has no morals today. It's insane. Don't get me wrong. Money is a really important thing in life because without money, you can't do a majority of things. But it's but that, that greed, bro. Don't have it's that I need, it's that, it's that you need it, you know? Like, not all money is good money. Yeah, that money from OnlyFans might be good, but at the same time, it comes with a greater cost, which is your dignity and future. Like I swear, people don't even care about their digital footprints anymore because bro only fans yeah. literally leaves a permanent stain on your life not it's even only fans bro just like your digital footprint you know, i have said some crazy shit on the internet bro i ain't gonna lie have i really though i don't know it was on the line though it was on the line to mark on your future family and i'm telling you once your kids find out that you did only fans back in your heyday that's going to be a pretty odd topic to even talk about y'all remember when that one blonde only fans girl l brooke was on piers morgan and she Never. was basically saying how her kids are going to cry in a ferrari once they figure out that she did only fans how would you feel when you want to have kids yourself well i mean that's i, I don't really want kids right now but, but you will do. how old are you 25 right so you will do at some stage probably right Maybe. when you do you're going to be proud that you have your little Yo. ones and they look at you and go, didn't you want to be a lawyer, mummy? What happened? Yeah. And you go, here, but look at all my stuff. They can cry in a Ferrari. Wow. Wow, bro. That's just, that just speaks volumes a little bit, bro. They will cry in a Ferrari. This is really an argument between morals and money. This is really what it is, bro. And people are retaking really money over their morals, bro. I know, what you call it? I know when uh Blake Griffin kid come up, you we all know it's Blake Griffin kids, bro. I'm talking about uh 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 Lana Rose, bro. We all know that's Blake Griffin's kid, bro. I'm not even gonna go into that, bro. When that little nigga grows up, bro, and he types in Lana, he types in his mom's name on the internet. Black and orange. We talking about... Nah, man. We ain't gonna talk about it, bro. But it's just bad, bro. It's bad, bro. Like, yeah, don't get me wrong. That Ferrari is cool and all. It's pretty fast. And, I mean, it does look nice. That so hurts? Kid That's the V6 that one. Ferrari and walks through those school doors, it's over for that man. It takes one kid in that school to find out you did OnlyFans. Now your son is getting his head dunked into a toilet on a Wednesday morning before PE class. You're telling me that it's okay that you get clapped online, pile drive, put in a DDT, and put in the Uh, okay, wait, 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 bro. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Cam? Yo, yo, I'm about to squeeze your melon, bro. I think you kind of Odin a little bit. I don't think they gonna go. I don't think they gonna bully him, bully the, the, the Justin. What are you trying to say? Hmm. Let me spit it out real quick. I don't think that uh they're gonna be bullied to that extent. You know what I'm saying? You talking about? You talking about? The, look at this shit. You talking about the walls of Jericho, bro? Y'all remember I put a little nigga in the walls of Jericho, bro? That nigga was. Ah! I got him out there real quick though. But um. I feel like when, when they start roasting and shit, when they start getting into that roasting phase, oh, brother. <laughs> Y'all say lucky me? Just shush, nigga. Don't say shit. Do not say shit. Don't say nothing, bro. Jericho all on camera for the world to see but it's somehow fine because you have a ferrari that is absolutely insane if you thought that bullying was bad now just wait until 20 years from now these roast sessions are about to get brutal that's why you're ugly and your breath stinks that's why your mom did only fans cook cook if your mom did cook. only fans easily you might cook as well go mute easily kick. easily cook or 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 mid argument mid argument bro y'all breath stink bro are oh, you ugly as hell this him right here Bouncing on cock. Bouncing on cock. Like, come on, bro. 
It's bad, bad like, bro. These only bad looking, bro. Pictures are never gonna leave the internet. I don't think people realize that. And also, just because you retire from OnlyFans, that doesn't mean that the pictures and videos retire as well. For example, do y'all remember the Exodot film oh, star Mia Khalifa? Man. The other day, she was actually on Twitter talking about how the singer Tyla should stay away from these little streamers because Kai Snat and Tyla recently did a stream. Bro, with hold on, bro. See, that's that. That's that bullshit I be talking about, bro. Like. They be trying to hold on, bro. See, I be so I be I be kind of like even though I am a little I'm a little streamer too. Like, look at me, nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm a little streamer too. But look, bro. They always be trying to shit on Kai, bro. Like Kai be getting mad hate, bro. This ain't even no glaze and shit, bro. Like Kai gets so much hate for no reason, bro. Like, like, bro. Tell my little stream. Who 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 try to little man, boy? Joe Budden hating ass. His old ass, bro. I fuck with Joe Budden sometimes. Like, with some of his takes, he can't... You know what I'm saying? I sometimes I fuck with him. But then, like, that one instant when he was trying to get at Kai, talking about some little boy money. Hey, bro. We don't want to talk about this content money. We don't want to talk about that. Because the bags that niggas over here again, <laughs> we trying to work to get to that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, we trying to work to get to that shit 100, bro. You know what I'm saying? Stop clapping, though. No, Mia, sh 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 I, you know what? I'm not even gonna get on Mia, bro. I ain't gonna get on her, bro. She already watched, bro. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody looking at. It. I mean, nah, bro. Ain't nobody what I tell you, that, bro. all hell broke loose in the comment section because people just started dropping pictures of her getting clapped from like eight years ago, dog. And that's what I mean by these pictures never really leave the internet. It doesn't matter when you retire, these pictures are always gonna be there, dog. That scene probably happened ages ago, but since it's online, that picture is now forever. And what's even sadder is that when these OnlyFans girls do try to be serious, I noticed something too. Every time Cameron shoes. His head swells up. So, like, every... <laughs> I'm not taking off my hat, bro. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> turn their lives around. Oh, no my God. Ever takes them seriously. Not... <laughs> like, if an OnlyFans girl tried to transition into different content, like maybe YouTube or, like, Twitch streaming, it wouldn't work because a lot not... of people are only gonna see them as that girl that was getting clapped on camera. I mean, it has worked in not some exactly, instances, bro. but a majority no, of No, bro. No, 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 bro. If it does happen, bro, you gotta be, like, at least, like, you gotta be on the good side for a minute. That means you gotta be on the good side for a long ass time. That means you gotta be, like, one of the goats, bro. I don't even want to start dropping names, bro. Because if I start dropping names, niggas gonna call me a hornball. whoop de doop de doo But all I know is, bro, you gotta be one of the goats. Like, you gotta be one of the most pious stars ever to be letting off, to slide off like that. You know what I mean? Like, you don't cause no hate. You don't cause no bullshit. You just do what you gotta do. You said, hey, this is kind of too wild. I'm gonna back up and do something else. That's when we gonna fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with Shadi. You know what I'm saying? Like, time, it's not gonna work at all. For example, that's how I see it. Fans girl oh, no. Not this one, though. Not this one, though. <laughs> we, don't, we don't know what the fuck that is. Oh, fuck no. <laughs> Nala basically stopped doing OnlyFans to pursue religion. And when I tell you, oh. nobody took her seriously. Hey, I apologize. Hey. Oh, shit, God, please, oh, man, hold on, <laughs> I'm gonna have to pray for redemption. Amen. Nah. Did she get baptized in semen? Biggest meme of all time. This is delusion at its finest. You're getting, did she get baptized in semen is so crazy the entire bro. internet presence is you not choosing god and honestly like even though it's messed up these comments are messed up i can understand why because number one it happened all of a sudden and number two she used to get clapped online and that was her previous internet presence like she went from worshiping the bbc to worshiping the bible like that's a pretty drastic change so it makes sense to why people don't really take her serious but that just goes to show how much of a 
stain OnlyFans puts on your I life. You can't even convert to religion know. without people cooking on you and saying that you're doing it for clout or just bringing up your past. Like, it's sad, but at the end of the day, like, I can't really be mad at these people who are cooking on her, you know? All that being said, OnlyFans has done a lot of damage in Facts. today's society. I agree with you, I think that OnlyFans is like the new cigarette what of the this fuck? generation. Hear me out, because I actually think this is like a really great analogy. At first, cigarettes were- Why cool, you kind of look like you? And Bro. I was doing it because, I mean, there really was no research backing up why cigarettes were bad. Yeah, it was smoke going into your lungs, but somehow in the 1950s- Twin don't look like me. He look like me, bro. I ain't take off the hat, though. I know that for a fact. I ain't take off my shit. He already showing it off, bro. I ain't... We ain't, we ain't going off for a headbutt battle, nigga. You know what I'm saying? His shit is swollen, though. Like, his shit is like... Y'all gotta get... Y'all gotta catch the frame. When I edit the video, bro, y'all gonna see, bro. His shit is like... Wide frame. You know what I'm saying? My shit is just like... It bulges. His shit is like... You know what I mean? Almost the same bedrooms... All right, chill. All right, chill, 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 chill. 60s, that was considered healthy. <laughs> but now, 60 years later, we've realized all the negative effects of smoking from all these studies we've done. And I think the exact same thing is going to happen with OnlyFans. It may seem cool, trendy, and normal now, but 40 years from now, people are going to realize how much damage OnlyFans has done to their lives. I think these OnlyFans girls could even possibly go that route that a lot of these adult stars are going right now where they're unaliving themselves because of their past mistakes, Whoa. which is actually really sad to even think about even though i don't really I know that girls doing only fans and adult content it is sad to see people unalive themselves for their past mistakes like it's it's really sad and that's been happening to a lot of adult stars lately But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. All that being said, this is going to wrap up the video. If you guys made it this far, I appreciate you. If you guys enjoyed this video, I right, can. I'm going to fuck with your, I'm going to fuck with your fat melon forehead ass, nigga. Don't